happy obviously uh, the, the, the first two days the weather was completely different and again today we have different weather but that's something you have to contend with in coursing and you just got to gear up for it um, we're very happy with the crowds there's a bumper crowd there today and uh, we're looking forward to the finals at this stage and it is the Olympics of coursing you have the best dogs in the country running here so everything has to be right and whoever wins after three days coursing they certainly deserve it the crowds have been great here right? yeah I mean despite the recession um, I have to say we're, we're more than surprised and more than happy but I suppose that goes back to the type of people that support coursing they're passionate about coursing and the national meeting only comes once a year so they're not going to miss it uh, so everything else might suffer but coursing uh, won't suffer the hair has been brilliant and the competition has been very yeah th thanks be to God again it's all a voluntary effort the running of this meeting a voluntary committee running it and we also depend on the voluntary effort of clubs around the country so without that network of support, we couldn't run this event. So I think that's what makes coursing so unique. It's voluntary effort by passionate people to deliver top quality sport. There's been a great buzz up in the betting ring as well. The betting ring. Absolutely, I mean, you have the clocks, you have the betting, you have people's opinions, and you put them all together and it generates a great buzz. And there's always going to be upsets, dogs getting tired, other dogs staying on and improving. So it's a unique event from that perspective. If it was as simple as just working out the form, then everybody would know the winner. Uh, it never pans out that way, so that gives everybody a chance, and that's why everybody leaves Powerstown every year, looking forward to next year and planning what dogs they're going to buy, what pups they're going to buy. Ah, sure, there's still plenty of money around, you know. Um, got a few results yesterday, got a few of the fancy dogs shifted, but um, yeah, still have a couple of bogeys in the Oaks, and um, we're still on to play for. How has the recession affected uh, betting much? Ah, sure, it's back a bit, you know, so every, everything is affected by it, but it's still plenty of The people actually nearly sleep with the dogs before they come here, you know, so uh, they have to be treated fairly and fairly and squarely, and that, uh, and uh, t t is the whole community are, are behind them, so that is pressure, there is no doubt about that, you know, and this is a long field, very long field, uh, very competitive, that hill, that hill up there, you have to get them up, get them up on that hill. There's a bit of a reason to get them into the hollows and that, uh, and this year it's below that the dogs get a lot of work. If, if they get too much work in, they won't stay the pace and that, you know. And it's very, it would be very disappointing for owners if, if they get it hard and that, you know. And this is a national meeting and, and uh, the boys work very hard here at the Hares then as well. And uh, we, we have a great committee here and, uh, and uh, they're improving every year and we have to produce the goods and, that, and that's, that's the bottom line, you know. Is it a difficult job to do between judging how far up you have to go and how mad obviously the dogs would be going when they see the hair? Uh, I suppose it is, yeah. Some people find it is all right, yeah. I mean, you'll be at it nearly every weekend from uh, the first week of October, like, uh, and, uh, and until until the end of February, like, you know, you would kind of gear into it. But the hair dictates the pace. Yeah, it is great to be here, you know. The excitement is the presence and to be competing, and uh, it's a great occasion, as you can see, so. And we'll all finish up good friends after, you know. It's a, it's a great honour to be a judge in the national meeting. I suppose it's it's every judge's dream to get to the pinnacle of their of their chosen uh, sport. And this is my chosen sport since I was a very young boy. And I used to stand out there in Powerstown Park and watch the judges that have gone on there years and years before me. And I said, someday, someday. There's a lot of pressure upon your shoulders, though, too, I'd say. It is a lot of pressure. Um, Everybody wants to do the right thing on the day, by the owners, by the trainers. Everybody puts so much work into the dogs. Uh, the executive committee of the Irish, Irish Coursing Club puts so much work into the meeting. The clubs around the country put so much work into gathering hairs and for their own meetings. And nobody likes to do anything wrong. Uh, and more so the slippers or the judges or any of the officials are at the meeting. So yes, the pressure is there. But I suppose if you didn't feel the pressure, you really wouldn't want to pack up. Because, you know, that's what, that's what makes, gives you the buzz of it.